everybody. Mark from 40 feathers again. Uh, and another tarpon fly for him. A baby tarpon fly. Uh, this is the uh, Sabalo Yucatan. Quite simple. Uh, easy to tie. Um, it's a Dan Blanton pattern. Um, maybe a bit flashier than your average tarpon fly. But it's certainly worth tying. So... I'm tying a red and white version, but you can tie them, um, you know, it's it's a style, I suppose, rather than a, a pattern, you know, you just you can change the materials. Um, so I've got a 108 Tamco 600 SP in the vise. I'm going to start my tying thread, which is... Uh, fluorescent red, flat wax nylon. Just about starting just in line with the point and running back to the bend. The tail is rabbit strip. Got a magnum magnum white with black bars and you can see that I've just sort of tapered it slightly at the back just to sort of give it a slightly more natural shape. But, I don't know if you really need to do that. So I'm tying the zonka. The length of the... Where the hackles will be. And it's going to be in front of this, is going to be... Um, the estaz. Or the cactus chenille. Um, so I'm just I mean, leaving that long so I've got a nice base for my, my hackles and then just to stiffen this up I'm just going to take a bit of brushable super glue and brush it onto the hide there for about I don't know 10-12mm ten, ten, and maybe half an inch something like that There you go, and that 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 will stiffen it enough just to prevent any fouling. So for the flash, I've just got a mix of pearl and silver holographic flash abu, and it's all already the legs are the le the eggs legs the ends are already all uneven. So I'll take that roughly the midpoint, tie it in on one side. And then take a fold it over, tie it to the other side. Um, as I say, this is a pretty flashy fly for a tarpon fly. You know, usually they're sort of they're bright, but no so not so much flash. Um, you can easily trim it out on the water. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You, know, you can. If you if a fish if you're fishing it and they're turning away, trim out the flash. For the so I suppose the body, it's a sort of sea juicer style body. Um two two hackles, two big hackles. Um just going through my sat my uh, cape the now, just looking for a nice Nice big one. This is the white and American rooster. It's alright size, but it's not very webby. I like them to be relatively webby. Um, from up near the back of the, of the neck. Or you could, I mean, you could use a big webby saddle hackle as well. That one's nice. So I'm going to just prepare my hackles by pulling the fibres back so they stand out from the stem and just trim the tip to a nice wee triangular point. Tie it in. Now, I like to fold the hackle. You can 
you can use your scissors if you like, you know, and put a crease in the hackle like that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but you, you still end up sweeping it back anyway, so I usually don't bother. Um, and you just wind the hackle forward one turn in front of the other, don't wind your hackle on top of itself. Make sure the turns are just touching but in front. You don't need to use Grizzly, um, you could just make it straight white. The first, the first one of these I actually saw was just a straight white version. And just keep going until you've got a nice um, nice patch of grizzle hackle or your main body colour um, bend the, the hackle across your thread at 90 degrees and just tie it off the bend and the tie in so this helps prevent it from being able to slip later and then I like to make sure my flies are all sort of consistently the same. So I'm just gonna, if you if you're not sure, right? Um, you know, some people don't really care. They just bang them up. They'll have like one fly, but I like them to be consistent uh, as far as possible. So if you're if you're sort of new to the consistent like tying up uniform patterns that are all the same you can always hold a fly up and check it uh, just make sure and always use your first one so that there's no creep and you can see there that that's the the grizzle hackles roughly the same and I've, so you know just be quickly checking that you consistency in your tying um, I'm going to use a nice webby red saddle hackle for the front actually a piece of slapping or slopping however they like to say it uh, this originally came about with the uh, salmon and spay flies but it's really good stuff it's nice long webby fibres lots of movement in the water same again I just swept the fibres back and put in a wee triangle tied it in and then I'll just wind this one turn in front of the other if it's not certain you can unwind it sometimes actually um, if a hackle fights you you can unwind you can go back and then when you go forward it's it will sort of behave itself for you you can see that's a bit better and just keep winding now don't don't worry too much about the if the slapping feathers are sort of, the fibres are sort of webbing together and they don't seem to be spreading, you can get in about that with a toothbrush. Or anything. Just to sort of get your get the fibres nice. So I've wound that up nice and got myself a nice good collar. I'm just going to fold the hackle across the thread and put a 90 degree bend in tidy it up and then I'll fold it back for strength just snap it away and that's solid that's going to know what that will you know the, the, ha the hackle actually has to break it it can never pull out and then just to help those fibres out an old toothbrush so I've trimmed half the, the bristles so they're shorter a bit stiffer and it really, really helps. Um, fibres at times, you know, just to get a wee brush. 
so you need to prop it, I mean, you can just rattle it up and tie it in and it's fine, but I like to, I like them to be neat, you know, take a wee bit of extra time. So, the last thing to tie in is the, the sort of final head of the of this fly, which is just character chenille, the rest as. And I'm using white just so there's a bit of, you know, like the, the, the colour change is repeated. And I just, I like, I want this to be dense, like I want a, I want a solid, um, a solid head because it, it helps to push some water and it creates a bit of turbulence. Um, which makes your f the fibers of your five mo move more. Um, I'll try to explain that a bit. So once you've got a nice um, sort of ball of your cactus chenille built up, same again, just cross your thread. Pull it forward. One, two, three turns is plenty to hold it. Put a couple of turns in front of it. Is it well locked in place? Some of your excess. Then come in. Anything that's going forward, just sweep it back. Build up a nice wee neat head. I'm using the bright red thread and that as a feature, you know, you've got the sort of red, white, red. Um, it's up to yourself really, but I, but I do like it. So, once you've got, you're happy with that, your head, just come in. Quick quick finish. Oops. We just don't catch any fi fibers. I always put two quick finishes in my saltwater flies. Just for security. Quite big anyway, so like you've got room for it in the head, you know, you don't need to worry about um as long as it's a size fourteen in your Next, so what finish is going to blow out your proportions. So that's the tying. The last thing I like to do is I'll just generously coat that with head cement, and I'm brushing. I brush head cement onto the cactus chenille as well. I'm no. I don't think this was actually part of the original. Uh, Design with that plant, I'm not sure, but I I do it. Um, I like the if the if the cactus is stiff, it pushes more water, and as I says, it creates a bit of turbulence. Um, I see something like a lot of the Scandinavian salmon anglers are aware of the the distance to the end of the turbulence stream is ten times the width. So that's about 10 mil there, and that flies just under 4 inches. So the, tur the end of the turbulence seems going to be sort of here. So the whole f all the fibers will be moving, especially I mean salt water is always moving as well. So it's you know it's just adding extra action or ensuring there's plenty of action. So there's a Sabalo Yucatan, easy flight to tie. Uh, baby tartan fly. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure you could put it in front of a, of a fully grown tartan, and it would take them as well. So, um, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and uh, remember to subscribe for more videos. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.